So, uh, I for travel. Thank you so much, Andy. Andy is from Guala, and he is director of business development. Yep. Andy, thank you so much for taking out time. I'd like to find out a little bit about Guala, and you know, your session was awesome. But let's talk about hotels. How can hotel leverage Guala as a location-based services, and what can they do to utilize this channel? So the, the basic idea with Guala, what we're attempting to do was to create a way for you to use your phone as a digital passport. And the idea with that was that as people experience the world around them, they would then be able to share it with their friends and have a record of the places that they've been. For our travel partners, our hotels, the airlines that we work with, anybody who's in the travel space, the conversation is already taking place around those locations where they visit. Mm -hmm. And the opportunity is for uh, brands and for marketers to actually engage in that conversation um, to create unique experiences and to, in some ways, incentivize um, and, and reward people that choose to share that with their network. So let's expand a little bit more about unique experiences. Sure. Are we talking about create trips or create things to do or what are the reasons to visit in the destination or are we talking about here's the reason you should come and dine in my hotel? Right. right. So a lot of it depends on who it is that we're working with. Working with a hotel, if the, if the hotel is a service hotel, right? Mm -hmm. So they pride themselves on service. There might be an additional layer of service that they can offer as a, almost an incentive or a reminder Please tell everyone you know, in your network that this is where you are, this is the experiences that you're having. So whether it's spot treatments or it's you know, being able to not have to wait in line at the restaurant, um, a variety of different things that are you know, truly experience based, not necessarily discounts and coupons. Um, if it is you know, a hotel that's just trying to you know, just get heads in the beds, um, there's absolutely that, that aspect of it as well, you know, 10% off or on your third night you receive a special message. So does that mean, a s you know, let's put it a little bit a little bit simply simplified for hoteliers to understand. So does that mean you have to create a profile and put all your value proposition in terms of why you should come and stay at my hotel and here are the five reasons why you should go and visit these attractions or these are the best pl uh, places to shop or spa or things like that. So you're really creating a profile of your business uh, similar to your website but a little bit more unique selling point driven and based on the people who are engaged on Guala. That's correct. Yeah, the, the opportunity, you know, and the, and the folks that obviously those marketers want to attract are people that are social, that are, they're willing to share that information. And so being able to, uh, to capture the, you know, the, your brand voice, you know, your location's theme, you know, is something that I think is really something we've seen, you know, done very successfully by some very large brand hotels. You know, IHG did something with us, Four Seasons has done something with us, we're a couple more that I can't talk about yet, but I will be able to soon. Um, but then also breaking it down just to the, you know, the bed and breakfast, you know, breaking it down to the, the single location hotel. Okay. So I guess a uh, second problem as a uh, milestone, I kind of told you a little bit about our company. We work with a lot of brands, I, you know, a lot of different brands. Also work with a lot of small uh, bed and breakfast and small independent properties. And one of the problems we find is identity of data. There is a lot of information. So hyperlocal, which is location-based services, is impacting your ranking today in your social circle and social circles is impacting on Google places. So in nutshell, every single business should have right information displayed on every single channel. Now as a marketer, it's kind of a nightmare to make sure that location has a same profile on Facebook places and Google places right. and Guala and you know Foursquare and things like that. So what I'm kind of trying to point is, would it be possible ever for uh, location-based services to partner with places, Google places, and make sure the data which is there can be consistent? Sure. Because what we find, each hotel having multiple listings, right. and going into the profile of each hotel and making sure there is only one listing available, yep. that just creates a lot of confusion in front of yeah, no, it's it's definitely a, a problem, especially when you have user-generated content, um, because you know, if especially with the the GPS on smartphones are not as advanced as we would all like them to be. Right. So you know, so I may be standing in the lobby of the Hotel Nico, and I'm looking at mm -hmm. what's close by, right? And it says that I'm it says that I'm 300 meters away from Hotel Nico, but I'm I'm in Hotel Nico. It's, it's just you know, in a large city like San Francisco or New York, you know, if, especially if you're inside, the GPS is a little bit off most of the time. Um, so we understand that piece of it. Um, we are getting better about being smart, uh, you know, to say so if somebody's created a new location, 
Um, you know, we're working on ways to make sure that they're, you know, did you mean this location? You know, here it is. Um, but we also have, you know, very active community that is cleaning up that information. It's our users that are, are flagging, this is a duplicate location, please, you know, merge them together so that we don't lose the stories that are told around those places. Um, but it is something that, you know, that we definitely look at. And, you know, with our integration with Facebook, with Twitter, with Foursquare and Tumblr, our place database feeds into theirs with a, a lot of consistency. And so, you know, our information, because it is, you know, consistent and, and it's fairly up to date just because our users are, are wonderful people that clean it up. Um, you know, I personally don't. Just cause people like us, we are always cleaning it up. You know, <laughs> the, but, but, but there, you know, there are people that, that they, they really enjoy it and we have a whole community of folks that, that really like mm -hmm. to help us clean our database. Um, and, it's, and it's fantastic. And, you know, they get, they get special perks and special privileges for, as a result of doing so. Um, but, but businesses are able to do it in a fairly easy way. Yeah. So I, I guess I have last two questions. Number one is for businesses, you suggest that businesses or marketers, mm -hmm. the best strategy to have consistent data would be to have clean up, claim your listing, make sure you have consistent offering, whether they go to Google Places or they go to you or they go to uh, Foursquare. Right. It has to be pin verified consistent it listing. Does. Does. And the second thing I would ask is, if you have to s give one walk away, one thing, mm -hmm. small businesses, hoteliers sure. should focus on, right. on any location-based services, mm -hmm. what would you ask them to do? I, I think the most important thing across any service that you, that you work with is look for a way for your location to look and feel like your location. Um, you know, the social media is very blue and white. You know, every single social service, except for Gowala, is, you know, blue and white. And there's, there's lots of things that you can do to create and kind of craft your location to look like your location. Um, but do it in a way that's not salesy. Do it in a way that's consistent with, you know, with the type of experience that you want to create for the people that visit, um, that inspires people to share that with their friends. Um, you know, but really, when it all ties back to it, that experience looks and feels like your business. So create a unique experience, right? Thank you. Thank you so much You're for welcome. taking our time. Absolutely.